Shut-off surfaces are necessary when the plastic part being molded has openings or windows like this part has here. To create these openings in a molded part, the two halves of the mold, called the core and cavity, will have to touch. However, to design and manufacture the core and cavity, a shut-off surface is needed to define the shape of the face where the core and cavity will touch. Shut-off surfaces can be automatically created using the shut-off surfaces feature found on the molds toolbar. The shut-off surface feature detects any open areas that need to be closed. The edges along the boundary of the open area are automatically selected. These are used to create a surface path. You can specify how the path will be defined in the Property Manager. Options include Contact, Tangent, or No Fill if you wish to manually create your own shut-off surfaces. The Knit option is a very important element of the shut-off surface. It combines or knits the surface patches to the core and cavity surfaces. This creates two surfaces, one representing the boundary between the mold core and the plastic part, the other representing the boundary between the mold cavity and the plastic part. Having these surfaces automatically created makes the rest of the mold design process much easier. I'll use the tangent patch type and select OK to complete the shutoff surfaces feature. To make the results of this feature easily visible, I'll click and hide the Solid Bodies folder. You can see there's a Surface Bodies folder containing two other folders. I can hide one or the other, and you can see the individual surfaces that will eventually define the mold.